Camila Cabello's past behavior has landed her in hot water after resurfacing, and she's issued a public apology, but some fans aren't as forgiving. What's up, y'all? It's Amelia Jr. back here on Clever News, and Camila's past has officially come back to haunt her. We've seen this happen before as tweets or past behavior resurface with many celebs, so we're just gonna take this as yet another learning lesson that what happens on the internet definitely stays on the internet and will probably come back to haunt you. Anyway, Camila's new album celebrations have died down, all thanks to tweets that resurfaced on Wednesday featuring screenshots of Camila's old Tumblr account where she posted offensive and racist memes and comments. The post showed the screenshots dating all the way back to 2012 when Camila was a teenager. However, it doesn't matter how long ago this happened because, well, they still happen. The memes and comments contain harsh language including multiple uses of the N-word and racial stereotyping towards the black community. Naturally, this circulated the internet quicker than the plague and Camila's team was forced to do some major damage control and take down all of her past Tumblr posts. However, this didn't stop fans from coming for her. Camila then responded to the viral tweets taken to her social media accounts to post a long apology statement to fans. When I was younger, I used language that I'm deeply ashamed of and will regret forever. I was uneducated and ignorant, and once I became aware of the history and the weight and the true meaning behind the horrible and hurtful language, I was deeply embarrassed I ever used it. Camila went on to add that although she wishes she could, she can't go back and change what happened in the past, but once you know better, you do better, and that's all I can do. She stated that now she's 22 and an adult, and that those mistakes don't represent the person she is or the person she's ever been and that she now uses her platform to speak on injustice and inequality and will continue to do so. Now Camila's closing sentence stated, I can't say enough how deeply sorry and ashamed I feel and I apologize again from the bottom of my heart. The apology drew mixed reactions from fans on Twitter with many criticizing her response but also many coming to her defense. One fan tweeted that age does not matter when it comes to knowing what racism means, writing, people defending her because she was young, that's a dumb excuse. I mean, I'm 16 and I'm well aware of what racism is. But many fans did defend Camila, noting that she was a young teenager and didn't know better, saying she was 12 to 14 and a lot of people in that age don't think long enough or hard enough for what it really means. But a fan slammed that user statement, adding, girl, shut it, she was 15 and was grown enough to know what the word meant. Even 15-year-olds know what to say and not say. These excuses won't cut it. But as many fans also pointed out, this isn't the first time Camila was forced to apologize for her past behavior. Back in 2016, she released another statement after her fans swarmed Normani's social media to the point where Normani was faced with harrowing experiences of online racism. Camila addressed the issue back then, saying that she won't tolerate on my timeline any kind of hate, racism, or discrimination towards anyone, period. The the timing of Camila's apology was pretty coincidental after Normani recently opened up about the racial trolling she received while in Fifth Harmony, saying that while her bandmates, including Camila, offered support, I'm not sure they could be there in the way that I need it because it's not their experience. She added, they don't have to face on a day-to-day -day basis the things that I have to. I definitely learned after that that I had to walk a different way. I can't look like everybody else. But Camila isn't the only celeb who has been forced to apologize over past racial remarks. YouTuber Lily Singh recently reacted to a photo of Jessica Alba's kids with towels on their heads when she said, don't worry, it's like my Punjabi friends. She later apologized on Twitter by recognizing that this was a disrespectful and problematic joke to make that has a lot of painful history behind it. Gina Rodriguez also ended up in hot water this past October when she was getting her hair done and she was singing the words to one of the songs from the Fugees where she unabashedly sang the N-word. She later deleted the post, but once fans got a hold of it, she issued an apology statement to Instagram. Ariana Grande also apologized for lyrics coming across as racist in her song Seven Rings when a fan quoted the lyrics writing, you like my hair? Gee, thanks, just bought it. White women talking about their weaves is how we're gonna solve racism. Ariana responded to the fans saying, I think her intention was to be like, yay, a white person disassociating the negative stereotype that is paired with the word weave. However, I'm so sorry my response was out of pocket or if it came across the wrong way. Justin Bieber took to his socials earlier this month to also address his past racist marks. In an Instagram post with the image of the word stand against racism, Bieber addressed his past mistakes saying, when I was young, I was uneducated and found myself saying really hurtful things, not knowing the power of my words. Racism is still very prevalent and I want to use my voice to remind we are all human beings and all of equal value before God. Although he didn't exactly state what he was referring to, fans noted some offensive videos that surfaced back in 2014. So let's take Camila's and many other celebs' mistakes as a learning lesson that your online presence will stay with you for years to come, and let's try and spread love and positivity, okay? But I know you guys have a lot to say about Camila's apology, so I wanna know your thoughts. Did her statement seem genuine, or do you think she should have known better at the time, regardless of her age? Get to talking right down here in the comment section below. And then click right over here for another new video, and after that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell to stay up to date on all the latest news. As always, I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.